Hello and welcome, once again, finally, to the third to last episode of Let's Play Monster Attack. Let's attack some monsters. Once I remember what save. That one. Okay, a little bit of explanation. My plan here was to go through Inferno mode and unlock all the guns so that I could show off the last few levels on the hardest mode in the game. Unfortunately, I got to the second to last level in the game and hit a massive brick wall and was unable to complete it. So, in order to show off the rest of the game, before the end of the year, I have decided simply to finish up these last levels on Chaos Mode, the second hardest mode that I've already shown off a bit of. So that's that! Let's actually finish this game. Look at that frame rate. That is not a good frame rate. This is a very difficult mode to play, or it would be if I hadn't played through a harder mode and ground up a ridiculous amount of health. Look at that health. That is a lot of health. It didn't take that long considering. Lots of failed attempts at those Inferno mode levels. Very, very tricky indeed. Thankfully this game doesn't feature an impossible mode, at least I don't think it does. I have to actually finish the game on Inferno to find that out, and that's not happening anytime soon, I'm afraid. Let's talk about Inferno mode a bit more as I easily kill these not Inferno mode bugs with my Inferno mode weaponry. Actually, I tell a lie. Most of the weapons I unlocked in Inferno mode are actually further down the list than ones I've unlocked previously. The uh, SG-99 here, I was using by the end of the last video, I'm sure. Sounds like a month or more ago by now. I've been busy, busy playing this game. And also busy, being busy, doing other things, work things. I want to bore you with them. What was I saying? Oh, it's a lot of the levels, there is a, a trick to beating them on Inferno and that trick is to dodge, 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 don't ever stop dodging. Of course this would make for quite boring videos. In order to not dodge I would have to uh, grind a ridiculous amount of health to be able to survive them. It will still take a while because I don't have any better weapons. Talk about this level. Uh, we got some big ants. It. Look at the range on that shotgun. The 99 series weapons are the best in the game for a reason. They are pretty good. SG-99, most powerful shotgun in the game, technically. We do have a slightly more powerful one, which I'm sure will show off at some point. It is the best all-round shotgun, so the best range and the most tight spread. There are three giant ants in this level. We've seen them in Global Defense Force. I don't think we saw them in Monster Attack yet. As I said previously, there are only ten enemy types in the game, so let's count, shall we? We've had ants. We've had red ants. We've had giant ants. Now we've had saucers. We've had red saucers. That's five. And the mothership is one, the carriers are another one, that's seven. I think the last three are, oh we've had Godzilla. And uh, that's it actually, I think. Maybe we've got a couple more enemy types to look at later. Maybe not this video, but probably one of the other two that I have shown off today. I plan to post all three last videos at once so I can be done with it. So I should mention that I'm not bothering with Global Defense Force anymore. I was planning on showing off the late game weapons, but after how long it took me to actually get through this much shorter, much easier game with less difficulty levels and half the characters, I'm afraid to say I just cannot be bothered. Sure you can look up some YouTube videos or a bit or something. Maybe someday down the line when I've actually 
unlock all those weapons, you know, just by playing the game, not actually let's playing it. I'll make a video or something. Probably not though. I'm sure there were lots of people looking forward to those videos. Who am I kidding? Nobody cares. If you care, you shouldn't care. There's no need to care. Once these videos are done, I can wipe my hands of this, quite frankly, slightly rubbish Let's Play. And I start on something new and exciting. Right, that's the next mission. First mission. This mission, done! Done with forever, let's move on! Terra! Oh, here we have enemy number nine. Mechasaurus. Exactly the same as the one in Global Defense Force, which is something I'm going to be saying quite a lot in these videos. Quite a lot indeed. Bluey! Lim Blam explosions. Bang! Bang! See the uh, frame rate even affecting the uh, scene transition effect there. Good Bennett. Yeah. Megasaurus isn't any harder than he was before. He's just a Saurus with a couple of different attacks and can take a bit more damage. In Inferno mode, Chaos mode we're playing, he is still not much of a threat. That's most of the large single targets aren't. We have ample time to dodge his really ridiculously well telegraphed attacks. You can probably survive a couple of them with the amount of health you're given in this game. The hardest to avoid is his missile attack, which I'm sure will show off at some point. As I'm using the Governor SX here, the second best shotgun in the game, but my personal favourites. Is slow firing, I think you can fire something like once every two seconds, and only has free ammo with a three second reload time. The reload time isn't actually that much worse than its regular fire rate, so that's a good thing, I suppose. Oh, there's the uh, missiles I fired earlier hitting it. Anyway, it kills a lot of things dead very quickly. I like it a lot. It's got a ridiculous spread on it, and it does a lot of damage. Quite good on large targets. Or if you're in the mood, you can pepper lots of targets from a distance at once. Or we won't kill them though, unless you do it like two or three times. We have the uh, green cluster bomb attack. Not terribly threatening. Just don't stand on them. And it's dead! We did it! I wasted that last missile salvo. What a shame. What a damn shame. Flying off into the sunset now. Anyway, that's this video. See you next one.